Now, hundreds of people in the Midlands are living with HIV without realising it. A new £20 million pilot project will mean 11 hospital A&E departments in the Midlands automatically testing patients' blood for the virus unless they opt out. Now, it's hoped the scheme will find people who wouldn't otherwise be tested, get them onto life-saving treatment and ensure they can't pass the virus on. James Bovell reports. Marcella's getting the results of her six monthly HIV blood tests. Because your virus is undetectable, that yeah. means you can't pass it on. Yeah. She was diagnosed way back in 1997, but had unknowingly been living with the virus for 10 years before that. Her late diagnosis almost killed her. I was given about six weeks to live, something like that. My numbers weren't great and everything else, and the, the priest just called him to give me the last rites. If I'd had the drug sooner, my kidneys would have been all right. I wouldn't have needed a transplant. HIV is no longer a death sentence if found early. So from next year, at 11 hospitals in Birmingham, the Black Country, Coventry and Staffordshire, anyone needing a blood test in A&E will automatically be tested for HIV unless they opt out. And as a memorial was unveiled at Heartland's Hospital's HIV unit today, there's optimism that deaths from the virus could become resigned to history. This will be an absolute game changer and we will diagnose people much earlier when they have HIV infection and hepatitis. That will save lives and it will also prevent the transmission onwards. The stigma around the virus that still persists ensures that people don't attend clinic. They don't get tested and therefore if we can just get those tests to those people within accident and emergency when they're just there for something else, we can get those tests done that would not ordinarily get done and we can get people into treatment if they need it. The government wants to eradicate new cases of HIV by 2030. Last year there were 292 new cases in the West Midlands down by 41% from a peak of 496 in 2015. Encouraging heterosexual people to get tested is now a key focus. Last year, straight women made up 45% of all new cases. Marcella almost paid the price for a stigma that still persists. Her message to anyone who doesn't know their status is simple. I wish people would just go and get a test. If you're having sex with somebody without having protection, you're at risk. James Boville, BBC Midlands Today.